Good evening. We start tonight with breaking news. An active shooter situation unfolding at Colleen Mall. Colleen police say at least one victim was airlifted to Baylor Scott White Temple. The search tonight still on for the suspect. The mall was evacuated a couple of hours ago, but some people are still sheltering in place at this 10 o'clock hour inside. Jarrell Baker is live outside. Jarrell, what's the latest? Yeah, that's right, guys. Now, they're still sheltering in place inside the mall. And they also have all the entrances to the, blo blo to the mall blocked off. Now, KPD Police Chief Charles Kimball says that now the police say that they've received a call at 7.17 p.m. about shots fired at the mall. It was then upgraded to an active shooter in situation. One person was shot multiple times and flown to a Bell County hospital. Chief Kimball says that right now they're evacuating people, but they're also searching for the suspect in the mall and in the nearby neighborhood. It's very early. Uh, we haven't, we're still in the initial phases where we haven't start to, to interview. Before people can leave the area, they get an interview. So as we put all of those statements, hundreds of statements together, then we'll, we will piece together uh, that puzzle of what really happened. Now, as, as you can see, there's still people that are on scene. Now, Kimball says that he doesn't know when people will be evacuated or how long they'll be out here. But they do say that if you do have somebody that you need to pick up here at the mall, please come to the west side of the mall. That's right off of here, off of W.S. Young. And also, if you have any information, any videos that you may have taken inside the mall, any pictures, please send them to KPD. Live in Colleen, Jarrell Baker, 25 News. All right, Jarrell, sounds good. We'll check in with you in just a minute. This just in, KPD releasing photos of the suspect. He's pictured right there, a white male around six foot, last seen in a white beanie and a white mask with dark clothing. The Colleen mayor telling us this does not appear to be a random attack. It looks more targeted, but no official word from police on that front. If anyone was at the mall around 7 p.m. and saw that individual, you need to contact police. And these pictures that you see here taken from a woman inside the mall tonight. She tells us she took them as she entered the building near Bath and Body Works. She says everyone was running out of the mall as cops were running into the mall armed with AR-15s and you see them right there. And then that video from another witness showing the massive emergency response just after 715 when those first calls came into 911. Clean police again asking anyone with any photos or video from that area be sent to them via social media or by calling the department. I want to head back out to the scene. Our Leah McNeil is there. She has been talking to witnesses who saw this all unfold or heard it. Leah, what have you got? Well, Todd, some witnesses I spoke to say that it was pure chaos, adrenaline, and confusion. As soon as the, they heard shots coming from inside the Colleen Mall, I got the chance to speak to two people who were actually able to evacuate one employee and one shopper who say it all happened so, so fast. An embrace that felt like a lifetime is what Trinity Mahoney shared with her husband, who sped from Copper's Cove to Colleen after hearing of the shooting. Really very shook because like it could have happened to my store. Like, why did this happen? Like Mahoney, Monica Silcott heard the shots while shopping with her daughter. So my whole focus was just to grab my kid and run as fast as we could to somewhere that we could hide behind and see what was going on behind us. It, you know, and that's, that's what was scary, not knowing where they were. Both women now safe at home. The who, what, when, where, and why slowly being answered. But the what ifs linger. If it happened now, it can happen again. Now, at this point, we do not know if the mall will be open tomorrow. Mahoney tells me that she is still on the schedule to actually work tomorrow. She's a little shaken up, but she said she has to work with the holidays coming up. Silcott did say again she was out there with her daughter. Her immediate instinct was to grab her child and run for her life. Again, details are still unfolding with this case. But, of course, as we learn more, we'll let you guys know on air, online, and on our website at kxxv.com. Live in Colleen, Leah McNeil, 25 News. Back to you, Todd.